funny is all of these Negroes, they could tell the world all of the inside story on Puff Daddy and a thousand bottles of baby oil and all of that stuff. What can't they do? <laughs> they can't tell you why they're voting for Kamala Harris. They can't give you a logical reason why. No. You know, they can't do that. Ask them. What did she do as vice president for the past almost four years that she's been vice president? Okay. What did she do meaningful to become vice president? Okay, what is she going to do meaningful as president? Name one of her policies. And don't say the no tax on tips because that was a Trump policy that she stole. Nothing. But vote blue, no matter who. They don't care. That's the reason their lives are a total train wreck. They vote blue no matter who. Two years later, they got voters' remorse. Then they're voting blue in whatever city they live in, and they get more voters' remorse. Then the presidential elections come up two years after that, and they vote blue again, and they can't even tell you why. They can't even tell you what they have gotten for their vote. They are quick to say that Trump is a racist and a misogynist, but they can't give you one example of either. What do they say? Oh, he put that that ad in the paper for the Central Park Five that they should get the death penalty. Yeah, well, stop forgetting that they had already confessed to the crime. They had already confessed to the crime. Okay? So, but we're going to forget about that part. No, we ain't going to talk about that. That's too much like right. See? Yeah. It's a doggone shame. But it makes me laugh because I just look at all of it like, hey, it's the greatest show on earth. <laughs> the greatest show on earth. Better than... Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus. Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. They are a trip indeed. Gotta love them. (laughs) Uh, Deuces.